when you are starting a new business or a new offer, a new area of your business, it can be overwhelming to think about content and launch because you think, oh, I got to get my ducks in a row, create the perfect framework before I post my first content, or I need to figure out how to tell my entire story so that I can then post my content in the, in the correct order, right? Um, and then launch things in a very organized way. And I understand that's the typical idea of a business launch is like business plan and sort of like your brand message. Everything is perfectly all in, in order. As you can imagine, I, I have a non-traditional way of thinking about business launch because I've seen so many businesses launch in a traditional way and, and, and not work or, or you know, failed or not be able to launch at all because they get stuck with in the branding process. Uh, when I say stuck, I mean, they just take so long uh, or they run out of money during the branding process and website or they, um, they get stuck with the content structure and all that stuff and they just take way too long and they run out of savings and now they have to go back, you know, if, if they were using savings to, to launch a business. So my non-traditional way, uh, much more nimble and I think effective way uh, for those of us who are solopreneurs, particularly. Now, if you have a whole team, that, then yeah, you need a more structured plan. But if it's just you, right, launching something, you can be way more nimble and agile in, in testing the market. That's been my successful way of doing it myself and coaching clients to do it is think of it this way. Um, think of it as lots of gentle launches, mini launches, instead of one giant launch that has high risk probability and high failure probability too, as most large launches do. So if you do a lot of gentle or mini launches, then it's like instead of launching once uh, a year or something like that, or once every five years, you launch once a month you know, and, and therefore you have 10 to 12 opportunities in a single year to test the market to see which way they, they want to see you launch. Let me say that again. Which way, which frame of your offer that they appreciate and they even recognize or understand the most? Because why is this important? Because the success of a business, well, it depends a lot on revenue, right? It depends a lot on income, right? And where does income come from? Okay, your income comes from your clients spending, your customers spending. Okay, let's, okay. If your income comes from your customer spending, how does your customer decide to spend money with you? By seeing a perfect website, completely polished person, or by seeing an offer and a person that they resonate with on their energy signature level, perhaps. Or that they, oh my gosh, I've been thinking about that issue, or that I have that issue, I have that problem in my life, and you seem like a trustworthy person. You seem like a real person that I can, that I would enjoy hanging out with, right? Let's say you were a coach or a service provider. Can I use your service because I have that issue? Okay, that's much more likely to happen in two ways. That's more likely to happen just in the world. I see that happen a lot, but also that's much more likely to happen because you're not stuck. In a big launch mentality, you know, magnus opus, you know, big launch, it's got to work, you know. No, you're just doing like this month. So here's why a gentle launch works. This month, I want to talk about my coaching offer in this way. Just try it out. See if anyone bites. I'm going to just try to talk about it in this way. Next month, I'm going to talk about it in a totally different way. It's the same skill that I'm offering, but I'm just going to talk about it in a different way. Or uh, there's different ways of testing launches. The one way is like, Let's say um, you know this person is offering coaching for ADHD women. Okay, fine. Let's talk about one month. You're gonna say, all right, hey, uh, those of you, you know, women who uh, have been diagnosed with ADHD or or suspect you do, and it's affecting your job. It's affecting your job, and you know that it's, you're having a hard time getting a promotion or what, whatever it is, or it's, it's affecting your relationship with your boss. Okay. Let's work through that. That's what I love providing my coaching for. You see what I mean? This is one way I'm offering the coaching. It's still the same skill. It's still coaching. It's still ADHD expertise. But now I'm just applying it to uh, the job context. Next month, those of you who are ADHD women, and it's affecting your relationship with your partner. 
you know, and you know that it's it's you know, the relationship is is you know it's, it's tumultuous because of the, let's work on that. So next month I'm going to offer that's my launch. That's my gentle launch. I'm going to post two posts that month specifically about that. And then the third month I might just be more general and say, hey, those of you who are who are suspect of ADHD and you've noticed that it's it's been it's been difficult for you to to complete projects in your life. You're making a general now. And, and, and you do these three launches over three months and you notice, oh my gosh, people really took me up on the second one. Or people were asking me a lot of questions about the third one. That's going to help me refine the launch. So you don't need to have everything in your ducks in a row. You don't need to have all your content structure in your launch. Do you see how this is much more flexible and much more successful? Because your income comes from the market. And the only way to, to engage with the market is to test them. Keep testing them. Hey, humbly offering this offer for you this month. Anyone, ta any takers? No takers? No worries. I got something else for you in two weeks. Two weeks. Any takers for this version? Oh, I got one question here. Great. Thank you. Let me refine this. Next two weeks later. Any takers now that I refined it more? Oh, hey, I got sign up here. You see, so that's really how, you know, especially solopreneurs succeed over time is, is to sharpen your intuition about your market. And the only way to sharpen your intuition is not to not only to pray and to work with intuitive guides and work with your spirit animal or what. No, the only way to sharpen your intuition with the market, the, the most practical way is to test them. Hey, what do you think? Humble offer, humble offer with no expectation. Oh, no one took me up on that. Hmm, that's curious. Let me try a totally different offer two weeks from now. Humble offer, humble offer. And so that is how... Yeah, that, that's that's the way of doing it. I, I hope this is helpful.